being the just the leader, of, one of the leaders of the locker room, what was your message to the team after the game? Um, yeah, obviously, you know, had a had a long flight back, so had a long time to think about it. I think you know the most important thing for us right now is. Um, you know everything that that we stood for, that that we worked for, all the messages that we said to the team and said that what and you know said what we were about. Um, when you face adversity like this, that's when that gets tested the most. So uh, my message to the team was, you know, we have two pretty clear choices: is to you know double down on who we are, come closer as a team, um, and go forward with a great opportunity we have this weekend, or let this affect us and deter us from what we ultimately want to do. So. Um, I think we've done a good job responding throughout the first two practices of the week, and you know, like I said, a great opportunity this weekend. Does any sense of kind of what if creep in your mind after you know Minnesota or the team's mind after you know just some of the calls, some of the you know that that last kind of play? And the, some of the what if, starts. as in if we yeah, won? If, yeah, you made a couple plays. I mean, obviously, like you'd rather win the game than not, but I mean, you can't do anything about it now. What did the fourth quarter film show you? Ah, uh, I mean, we move the ball really well. Like we, it's the number five defense in the country. We we're gashing in the run game. We're, you know, for the most part, pretty clean in the throw game. You know, they did a lot of stuff to, to keep stuff in front of them. They played really soft, uh, really soft zone. Um, Try to limit our possessions. I think they were <laughs> they were taking like a minute for every single play. You know, they huddled, let the clock run down. There's pretty much in four minute offense the entire time on their side. So, um, you know, they obviously made a concerted effort to limit our possessions, limit our plays on the field, and you know, played really conservatively. So they did they did a good job. I think. When you're in a game like that, you just you can't make mistakes, even if you're moving the ball really well, because your possessions are so limited. Explosive plays are down a little bit with this offense. Is there something that maybe these defenses have done a little bit differently than you'd seen in the past, or any explanation that you can see for? No, I mean we're we're playing better defenses. I don't think I think that's pretty objective. Just when you look at you know how they stack up in terms of just NCAA ranking, if you're into that kind of thing, I guess. Um, no, I mean, like I said, these defenses have have really tried to keep things in front of us, in front of them. Um, we've seen, seen a ton of ton of really soft zone, um, and you know, obviously, our ability to run the ball is important when you see that kind of stuff. So, I think we're playing a lot better defenses this year. I think that's pretty, you know, undeniable. But presents a good challenge for us, and we have to go and execute. How critical is it then to have someone like Woody, who you can so consistently hand it off to, and he'll get you know six, seven yards? Yeah, I mean, Woody's been phenomenal for us. He's a really tough player, really tough kid. Um, just a guy I love playing with and obviously a, a heck of a player. What can you guys just do or as a quarterback force them to come down a little bit and play that tighter man coverage? Um, and you got you to make them pay. You know, like we, you can't move the ball really, really well. Um, average whatever, seven yards a carry, gash them in the throw game and run game, and then, you know, stall out on a drive. You got to make defenses pay because if, if you don't, they're going to keep doing what they're doing. What have you seen from Penn State on film? A really good team, um, really experienced, seven returning starters. Um, obviously, really talented edge guys, really talented uh, back end, experienced linebacking crew, and you know, really good defense as a whole. You mentioned it was, I think, after the Wisconsin game, said it was ultimately just kind of unacceptable to have you know the slow starts that you guys had, and it wasn't gonna, you know play against good teams. I mean, yeah. obviously, you faced kind of a unique situation with Minnesota in terms of how they they played you guys. But have you figured out anything more about how to kind of get this offense going? You know, for, from the jump, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, I think it's just in, like it depends how you define slow start. I mean, we come out and we're moving the ball really, really well. Um, didn't really feel like they they could stop us the first drive. Um, obviously, came up empty, which was unfortunate. And then I believe the second drive started on our minus five or something like that. Third drive went and scored. So like, when you talk about starting slow, like there was no point where we felt like we weren't moving the ball well, you know. So um, obviously, like I said, we got to we got to finish drives and limit mistakes, but. It's just all, it all depends like how you frame starting slow. I think the biggest thing at the end of the day is finishing those drives. What would a win over Penn State mean for the program? It'd be great. I mean, obviously, you know, that's what we, that's what we go out and try to do every single week. Um, and like I said, they're, they're a really quality opponent, but you know, we're gonna empty the tank on our preparation and be ready on Saturday. We can talk about stuff that you guys can build on from, from this last game in a, in a good way. Um, how, do, how do you bring that out to practice day one and, and, and build on it from that perspective? Yeah, I think just like from guys' individual confidence level, I think that definitely helps. Um, whether it's up front or, or in the running game or, or outside, I think 
guys feel like they did things better, they did things well, then they can carry that over week to week. Obviously, you know, a, a new week presents a new challenge in terms of like schematically who we're playing against. So that stuff like schematically doesn't necessarily carry over, but I think on, on an individual's confidence level, it definitely, you know, carries from week to week. Lincoln said yesterday you felt like Zachariah might have been pressing a little bit, or it might be pressing a little bit right now. As in Monday practice? Or? As in, yeah, on Trojans Live last night. It just. You, are you talking about in the game? Yeah, just in okay. general with, with how he's playing right now. Do you feel like, you know, do you agree? Do you sense that a little bit from him mentally? Just what, what's kind of the, the work with him, you know, right now to, to get to the receiver you can be? No, I mean, Zach's, you know, one of the most talented guys we have on our on our team and on our roster. I mean, every everyone's going to have plays they want back, and that's that's part of the game. But I think, you know, my message to him is just that I'm going to keep keep getting him the ball. He's going to keep having those opportunities in those situations, and I know he's going to he's going to continue to make those plays. Uh, like I said, everyone has plays they want back. I missed the stop inside to Kyron on third down. Like, like I there are one to three throws that I want back. You know, so. Um, I think it happens, and Zach's obviously a really talented player and is going to continue to make big plays for us down the stretch. He said, in the, pa- he said in the past how some of those mistakes sort of stick with him and he can't stop thinking about them. Yeah. Hey, do you notice that about him? Like he, he has a little, kind of a hard time getting that out of his head? I mean, I don't think that's really specific to him. I think anyone that, you know, plays sports or does anything at a high level is, is you know, going to be very, very critical of themselves in terms of the expectation they have. And I think that's natural. I think that speaks to, to the competitor that he is. So, um, I mean, I think a lot of guys who, who strive to achieve at a high level are the same way. So, obviously, that's something that you have to overcome. I mean, I struggle with the same thing in terms of, you know, wanting to be perfect. And we have to understand that we're not going to be, but we have to strive to be perfect in our preparation. So, look, Zach's, Zach's going to be a great player for us. He has been a great player for us, and I have every confidence in him.